Hello everyone, welcome to vCompare. Today, let's talk history, military history specifically. Let's discuss the most violent battles in the history of planet Earth. Now, we're specifically talking about death in battle, and there are five battles in history that saw a lot of carnage. And the numbers in our top item today astounded me, and will probably astound you too. All right, that's enough blather, let's get to it. Coming in at number five, the Battle of Gettysburg. This battle during the American Civil War took place in 1863 between the Union and Confederate armies. And while it was considered a Union victory, each side actually lost approximately the same number of combatants, 23,000 each, for a total of 46,000 dead. Historians will tell you that this three-day battle turned the tide of the war in favor of the Union Army. At number four, we've got the Battle of Cannae. Taking place in 216 BC, Hannibal, the guy with the elephants, led his Carthaginian army to victory over the Romans, killing 50,000 men while losing a mere 10,000 themselves. This was largely because the Romans thought they could just smash through the Carthaginian army and found themselves outflanked. The rear Roman ranks just kept pushing forward, not knowing that they'd trapped their countrymen. Eventually, the Carthaginians completely surrounded the Romans and just picked them off. Total loss for the battle, 60,000 men, all in one day. Coming in at number three, we've got the first day of some. This World War I battle saw Britain face off against Germany in what was the bloodiest day for the British Army, which suffered 60,000 losses compared to Germany's 8,000. The result, however, indecisive. Worth noting, many of the British losses in this particular battle were due to friendly fire. Bad planning resulted in advancing British infantry shelled by their own supporting fire. We know, of course, that Britain and its allies went on to win the war, but not for another two years following the July 1, 1916 battle. Number 2. The Battle of Leipzig Napoleon Bonaparte thought his French army could just cut through the rest of Europe like a knife through butter. But this 1813 battle was one of the most decisive defeats of the French army. Attacked on all fronts by the Austrian, Prussian and Russian armies, the French held their opponents at bay for more than nine hours before being overwhelmed. Eventually, Napoleon began to withdraw his forces across the only bridge still standing, but then the bridge was blown up, stranding 20,000 French soldiers, many of whom would drown whilst attempting to cross the river. In the end, 30,000 Frenchmen died and 54,000 coalition troops lost their lives as well. I want to recap real quick, just so you can really appreciate what's to come. At number 5, we had the Battle of Gettysburg, 46,000 casualties. At number 4, we had Kenai, 60,000 casualties. At number 3, we had First Day of Sum, 68,000 casualties. And at number 2, we had Leipzig, 84,000 casualties. And now at number 1, the Battle of Stalingrad, 1,971,000 deaths. Taking place from August 1942 to February 1943, the Battle of Stalingrad saw the deaths of 1,130,000 Russians and 841,000 Germans. Here's what went down. Germany started with a heavy offensive from the sky, leaving much of Stalingrad in ruins. Then the German infantry invaded the Russian city, but they found themselves literally fighting from house to house, on unfamiliar soil, unfamiliar places against people fighting for their own homes. Although Germany was in control of more than 90% of the city, the Soviet soldiers were incredibly stubborn and couldn't be extricated. Then the weather turned, and in November the Red Army went on the attack, surrounding the German 6th Army. The Germans died of starvation and cold as much as from the Russian attacks. Some Germans wanted to retreat, but Hitler refused to let them, and eventually the 6th Army was crushed. So there you have it. Thanks for watching to the end. For vCompare, I'm your host Scott Leffler, inviting you to like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon, and swing your partner do-si-do. -si -do. I'll see you in the next one.